Hello everyone and welcome back to Niche, the genetic survival game. And I am so excited to dive in. You guys may remember this amazing, unique game from over the summer when we started out as two of these amazing creatures. I don't really know what to call them. They're kind of like a combination of a fox and, and a rabbit and a prairie dog all smushed together in one. And they have so many different traits. We had fangs and purple fur and spots last time, which was so cool. But we start off as a couple of those creatures with unique traits. We have babies in our adorable nest right over here and our goal is to try to see that as many of those babies manage to survive and pass on their own unique genetics to the next generation again and again and again. So there's lots of different things we have to worry about if those traits are beneficial to help us gather food, if they're beneficial to help us hunt, if they're beneficial to help us defend ourselves from predators. And there have been so many new features that I know are slated if not perhaps added in just yet because this is the early access version of the game thanks to the amazing Kickstarter that they ran. I kept in touch with the Kickstarter, just kept an eye on it while they were running it, and so many of the other levels were unlocked. So there should be unique traits, there should be the ability eventually to have like beards and different face uh, like fur, there should be the ability to find unique genes hidden inside of the ice. I don't know how much of that has been put into the game just yet because this is the early access version! So this is very 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 early into the game's development, so have some patience with it. It is not not the official 1.0 release. This is the 0.0.6 release and there's already updates slated for next month. So we're going to enjoy it for what it is. So let's sit back, enjoy, and see what happens and what genes managed to survive in the very first little, very first levels of this. I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and dive on in. Okay, we're going to start a new game. <gasps> I get to name it? Okay, a uh, new world. Oh, geez, I don't know what to call it. Like, uh, how about Nymphia? So we're going to go with Nymphia because I have been planting a lot of new flowers. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at the little paw prints. Oh my gosh. Those are so cute. <gasps> is that us? Okay. All right. This is looking familiar. So this is our island. And here are our two starting creatures. So we're back here with Adam and Eve just like before. So we are back with Adam and Eve. Let's go ahead. Eva's already pregnant, so she's already expecting a baby. Look at all of this. So Adam over here, this is, last time was the life gauge. Can we look at his genetics here? We can, you can see he has red fur with stripes. He's got three moves left. These little like jewels on the front of their chest are related to what moves they can do. Uh, immunity. So having the same symbol twice increases the chance to get sick. So this is like good immunity then. So he has F and G, so he doesn't have an increased chance to get sick. He has hind legs, a furry tail. Look at all of this. And then I think these are like the inactive genes that he carries or like his secondary genes. Since as you guys probably know from genetics research, like you get one set of genes from each parent you combine them and that creates your own unique mix of those so our goal is to have a unique mix of our genes and Eve's genes and put them together and see what our babies are gonna be like so we also need to take care of everything by making sure we're fed and I'm not quite sure how we're gonna do that big body plus two strength minus five heat resistance plus five cold resistance so we're not very good in hot places but we might be good in places where it gets really cold we have poison fangs to be able to defend ourselves we can see three levels we can hear a little bit so what can I do uh, maybe explore some so I'm gonna have him go ahead and kind of keep an eye out on things and can I have her gather food is that something yeah look we have food down here okay all right, so that's the food. And then here's the mutation menu. Drag and drop genes here to mutate your offspring. <gasps> no way, she is pregnant. Can we give her like, oh, can we give dots? Can we give dots? Oh my gosh, so there's like a 10% and 30% chance. Okay, we're gonna have to figure out how all this works. We're just apparently diving right in. And then welcome pack members, there we go. Place us next to each other, click the heart, uh, and place me, the pregnant female, in the nest to give birth to the offspring, okay? Have a look. Okay, easier than it seems. This is the age then. It goes up every day. We die of old age or of damage taken. Daily energy are the little jewels on their chest. Mutation menu is right here. End of day. So that's how you end the day. Food's right there. Nom, nom, nom. We share it as a family. Whenever one member performs a task, it needs food. Okay, so those are the abilities. Here are the genes. Important to interact with the world are the abilities. Uh, the genes are inherited by ancestors and they defined our abilities. Press space to end the day. 
press tab to switch between different animals. Look at all those spots. <gasps> I want to see if we can have some spotty babies. Look at that guy. He's going to eat us. All right, we need, to, we need to go ahead and chase him away. So incest increases the chance of sickness. Check your immunity genes. And that's just like with most real life animals too. You don't want to breed within family members because then you have a risk of exposing those recessive genes that could cause illness more frequently a lot faster. That's why genetic diversity among animals uh, is so, so important and so carefully managed with really small populations of endangered species like cheetahs. But we'll talk about that another day. Cheetahs are also spots. Okay, you can jump into any field that shows a paw icon, not just the ones next to you. Sickness is more likely to be acquired in the swamp biomes. Okay, and that looks like it's all the information we've got. So we're going to go ahead and end the day because we don't want to take Eve out of the nest, I think. Oh, wow, that was pretty. <gasps> we had a baby! We had a little Roku. Medium ears, normal eyes, big nose. He's got runner legs. He's got a brown mane. Look at that. So we combined Eve's brown mane and his red fur, and it looks like the brown mane. And he carries, I think, the recessive for red fur. So I think these may be his recessives right here. And then his abilities, he's got speed, how far an animal can move. What about Eve? So it looks like he mostly took after mom in this case. All right, well, scooch over, little guy. Let's go ahead and see, can I, can I make you move? All right, you come, no, Eve. Eve, I wanted you to be able to like examine your baby. Okay, you can examine over here. And can she examine this spot? Okay, she has to move to this spot. All right, and Adam, you go ahead and get some food to feed the baby. And then I think we'll have him watch, I think is what I did. All right, we'll figure this out. But I know there's gonna be so many features added in as time goes on, so I can't wait to read and see what they're doing. Can I watch here? Okay, oh, and you have to like look, and then every time, oh, look what we found! What the heck is that? That looks like a really yummy pineapple. Well, it doesn't really, or a cactus, I mean. It doesn't really look that yummy. Roku, can I move? No, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I hit the wrong button, that's okay. Day passed, and Roku. Uh-oh, Roku, scooch, let mom take over. <gasps> You're so pretty. Spots, how many spots do you have? Kuro, oh my gosh. Hey, have a baby with Eve. Eve, get back over here. So Eve is gonna have a new baby with Kuro over here, who's very old actually, and has speed and strength, uh, but no collecting and no venom. But he does have a lot of strength. Wow, Ram and Claw is really out there. So hopefully he can help take like take care of things. He can't collect any food though. Whereas Adam can. So we'll have Adam go ahead. Oh no, you get hurt from collecting that food. Go away, evil cactus. All right. And then we'll just have like this Kuro who showed up as some like old wise elder. It's almost like an elder showing up in warrior cats. We'll have him go ahead and watch over everybody. And then we'll go ahead and collect more food. There we go. Oh my gosh, I need more food. All right, Adam. Looks like your job is going to be daily task of gathering food. <gasps> we already had a new baby. Eve, what are you doing? She didn't waste any time. All right, let's see what this little one looks like if I can. I don't think she can leave the, the little nest yet. She has recessive for dots, but she doesn't have any pattern. Okay. Eve, I don't want to like overbreed you, but... Uh, and Eve, did you have another boy or did you have a girl? Can we look at... Is the baby also named Eve? I'm not sure. Eve... All right, no, that's that. Okay, so now the berry bush is out of food. All right, we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. All right, let's go ahead and explore around a, li a little bit. Oh my gosh, he grew up so fast already. He needs to find a new mate. So little Roku has already grown up. Oh my gosh, look at the baby grow. They waste no time. Look, she's got a paw lifted up. What is this about? Not Eve, I don't want to click on Eve. There she is. Okay, it is a little girl. Uh, Corsana, uh, Corsana. All right, there we go. So she's got medium ears. She has the horns. She inherited the horns. How cool is that? What are her abilities? And she can gather. So she's a little gatherer. I think we'll put her right over here. And then Eve, I think I want you to have another baby with this guy right here. There we go. And then we'll have this guy move down and we'll have Adam go ahead. And we're really low on food. So unfortunately, Adam is going to have to go ahead and collect from this danger bush. So I'm sorry, Adam. Ah! Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, I don't want to have him collect anymore. Jeez, that's really dangerous, actually. So we'll have this little guy right here, Roku, go ahead and look around some. And can we collect this? We can, but we're running really low on food. And I don't want to hurt Eve because she's like my only... My only female at the moment. Is she going to have another baby? <gasps> she did! All right. So Eve just had another baby. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's not. Let's not. We're going to send this guy over. 
Okay, let's see if I can move the baby. All right, not Corsana, not Eve. Okay, I can't move the baby. Oh my gosh, okay. We're gonna move this guy, like right over here to try to protect everybody. Adam, you're gonna have to just start exploring a little bit further because I think I need to be a bit bolder with that. And then we're gonna have to let this little girl start exploring too. Oh geez, there's more things moving about and I know this guy's not, not he's bad news bears. Oh gosh, maybe I can fight him between these two. All right, Roku, you've got a little bit of speed. He's got no strength. Like Roku's pretty weak. Adam, we're gonna move you down here too, buddy. Oh no, did you get hurt again? How did you get hurt again? Oh, he's hungry, that's why. <gasps> that's right, every move he makes, he needs, he needs food for. Oh, I'm so sorry, Corsana. I don't mean to hurt you. <laughs> Uh, and then we have Serene, and she, what kind of traits does she have? Blue eyes, what? She has a mutant variant for blue eyes. I would love to understand how they have those variants a little bit better. They both have lifted paws, too. All right, let's send her, no, not over here. Eve, I didn't want to send you over here. I wanted to send the little one over there so that she can start moving about. And then I think this guy, I need more food. Oh gosh, Adam, I'm sorry. I don't have enough food and this is like okay hang on we're gonna do this all right attack attack oh no I think we're out of moves Adam oh no I think everybody's <gasps> he's dead he's dead and we have illnesses and we have did we get him oh my gosh is that food we got food that was quite a bit of food. Oh, that's so sad. That's the look at look at the the fallen body of that guy. Oh my gosh. Oh oh my gosh. <laughs> There's something up with this guy's jaw. I don't know if we want to breed with him. But let's go ahead and look over here. <gasps> Is that food? That's more food. Eve, can you get that? I think she might be able to. Oh dang it! It got away. Ah uh, gosh darn. Wait, there's another nest over here. Okay, we can perhaps move the family over to that nest. But there's no more food again. And who are you? So this is Kuravan. And he's got a snip snout. He does have dots. So if I breed with him, with one of our girls, I might be able to get dots. Immunity E and A. And as long as we don't repeat the A's, then we should be okay. And Serene has the common cold. Oh boy. Should I risk it? I think I have to risk it. Like, and attack this, this, this cactus. We're not doing a very good job keeping our keeping our little ones alive, so I I feel bad about that. All right, anybody need more food? Oh, hang in there, Serene. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You have to you have to put up with this. <gasps> food, attack it. Yes, we have more food. Thank goodness. I don't know if I want to breed with this guy, but you know what? We'll have him go ahead and utilize whatever abilities he does to try to help us out. So he's got some speed, some collecting, and some strength. But he definitely, it was like that old man showed up and helped us protect everyone just long enough. Just long enough to pass on his genes to his two daughters and then moved on. Adam? Adam, when did you die? Adam just died. Oh my gosh, everything moves so fast. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for how quickly everything goes and Serene still has a cold. Okay, and it looks like I really should probably start breeding everyone because I don't know how much longer we're going to have with some of these guys. So we're going to move you here and then yeah, she's hurt because she had to gather up the food. So we're going to move him here, her here. I'm going to go ahead and let them have some babies. I really, I don't think they're going to have, <laughs> I really don't think they're going to have very pretty babies. <laughs> But we just have to roll with it. Oh gosh, is there anything over here? Ah, uh, okay. Oh my gosh, okay, let's go ahead. Is there food? Is this food? It's a berry bush with no more food on it, I think. It's a savanna berry bush that has dried up. Oh gosh. All right, everybody's gonna starve to death. We're gonna have to make some sacrifices. Oh, he's he's a little bit... <laughs> I don't know what I think about him, you guys. He's definitely got a little bit of a special look. It's like we have these beautiful brown-eyed, like, horned females that have the recessive gene for spots. And then we have this guy. So he has inherited um, a common cold from her, I think. So unfortunately, I might need to scooch her away and have her maybe focus on gathering things if she's going to die of a cold anyway. And then over here... Let's see, she's caring for her baby. Um, no, I don't want to look at Corsana. I want to look at her baby. And then Kikuru. 
Let's see what his genes are. He definitely has the dots. And he has an immunity illness. So these two did not have a healthy baby because they both had type A immunity. Fooey. Oh, fooey. All right. Okay, we'll gather that up. I'm going to have him come over. I'm going to have to have her. I'm so sorry, Eve. Eve's getting old. She's had to watch so many things. Ah! Eve, run! She's had to watch so many things happen to her family. This is so sad. Oh my gosh, there's just no food. There's just no food. Can I find any food? Oh, there's food! There's food! Get it! Oh, are we gonna be saved? We're gonna have to have little Roku go around. Too bad he doesn't have an unrelated female. Because then he could go around and maybe find, like, a female. Yeah, the little boy is already sick. So we might have to... I might just send him out. No, I didn't want to send her out. Fooey. Might just send him out. He can go really far, though. So there is that. Uh, there's some berries over here, and he can collect. I think I might perch him next to a berry bush and have him work on that. We'll send her back over, because unfortunately we just need to have more babies. And then I think that poor Eve up here is about to die anyway. And then can she get this bunny? She can, and she gathered up a little bit of food. That's like her last contribution to the group. Oh my goodness, this is so sad. It's all so sad. We can do a little bit of exploring over here. I can have her gather up a little bit more food, but maybe I should have her breed with him instead. Who knows? Who knows? I'm gonna send her way over here. Maybe if we desperately start searching along the edges, something will happen. And then I'm gonna have him go ahead and collect up some more food. Oh, this is so sad. <laughs> no! And Eve has just passed away. Okay, this is going to be a little bit harder than I thought it would be. There's some food there. And then we're going to move him over here. He can only do so much because he's a baby. And then we'll have her start exploring these areas. And at least Eve can go over here. And what happened to this little one, Miana? Who, I guess we could breed her with her uncle because we don't have that many animals. She has recessive dots. She has better immunity than her brother, though, even if she does have a snip snout. So snip snout is happening, but maybe it's not as bad as it could be. So we're going to go ahead and move this guy over here. And going to have him start exploring areas and roku if you can just hold in there a little bit longer roku hopefully we can make something happen but there's no food anywhere <laughs> there's no food what am i gonna do they're gonna start starving to death oh my gosh look at her eyes she has a face only her mother perhaps loves <laughs> at least we can just sit cuckoo uh uh Kikuku here, Kirukuku, and he can just stay there and like pluck from that berry bush. So at least we've got a little bit of food coming in that way. And then let's see, can she go over here? If we explore certain areas, it uses up our berries, but it does provide us with the opportunity to try to... Oh gosh, and she's sick still. <gasps> Look at that, the rain came and totally like refurbished this bush. Oh, thank goodness. Can you collect things too? He can. Oh, berry bush, I love you. And then we'll come down here. Oh, thank goodness, saved by the rain. And we'll go ahead and have this guy start wandering in a little bit. Because I need him to start, like, actually looking at things. Okay, let's look at this thing. <gasps> it's a bunny! Oh, we need it. We need it for food. Okay, but we also need to maybe breed this little group. So we'll breed one more time with this snip snout baby <laughs> and see what happens. Oh, can we move over here? Food! Food! Thank goodness! All oh, right, so we're getting a little bit of food over here. Can he find any food over here? Just this kind of food. I don't know if we're that desperate yet. And oh, look, there's a berry bush over here. Okay, wonderful. And then Eve can collect this. Okay, Eve, I'm going to actually scoot her over a little bit. And, or no, this is Corsana. Eve died a long time ago. What am I saying, Eve? And she's been gone forever. All right, there's, there's a little bunny. Let's get it. No, he disappeared. Where'd he go? Oh, fooey. Fooey, fooey, fooey. I was really hoping that we saw the bunny in time. All right. Well, I'm going to have to do this. Chrisana, I'm sorry. You've already had two very unique looking children. All right. So this is kind of the point we're at now. Kikuru is just gathering up berry bush berries over here. We've got this one over here. Is there anything else over here? He can't gather anything. What? Does he really not have the ability? He does. It's just not ready. Oh, let's not go there. So we're going to move him, and then I want to move her maybe this direction in search of more food. 
And then, yeah, we've got a lot of berry bushes that we could gather up from, but they're not very, they're not very nice looking. And look, we've switched which paw is raised. These guys have the right paw raised, and this little one has the left paw raised. So I think we're gonna go ahead and leave our little family in just a second. Are you old enough to have babies? Not quite just yet is she old enough to have babies. So, oh, thank goodness, thank goodness. All right, we're gonna see where this very odd snip snout family <laughs> <laughs> where this snip out family tree takes us uh, in just a little bit. Hopefully we'll be able to breed them together and keep them going. Roku's about to die. We have so much new area to explore and there's going to be a lot of new features added in as time goes on. So it's going to be really fun to kind of grow the family and watch as the game develops as we do so. So we'll have a lot of fun being able to talk about uh, genetics and survival and genetics research while we are doing this. I think it's going to be quite the challenge already it is proving to be pretty darn challenging I'm um, just gonna move him over here okay yeah nothing down here already it's proving to be quite challenging mostly just because I'm trying to figure out what to do and how to do it but we will definitely get there and I'm really excited because we loved this last time and I know now that it has even more features genetics all sorts of bits and pieces we're gonna love it even more and it's not even the full game yet so I'll see you guys next time bye bye